You may not believe me, but this was really a productive week for me. Like, seriously. Cheers. Welcome back, everybody, to me doing the weekly navel gazing where we talk about all the books I read last week and all the videos I made last week and all the books I plan to read this week and even some videos that may come out this week. We will see how all of that goes. Um, but yeah, that's what we'll do. So let's get started and talk about books I read last week. And those were quite a few, sort of. Um, I obviously finished um, Out on Blue 6 by Ian MacDonald, although I think I mentioned that last time. I'm really not good with time. And I did, of course, um, read Necroville, sometimes also called Terminal Cafe by Ian MacDonald last week. And um, I did reread Osama by Lavi Tidar last week. And I did reread A Man Lies Dreaming by Lavi Tidar last week. So those are the books I read last week. Beyond that, um, I also read uh, Dark Home by Hanno Rayaniemi last week. And I think that's all the books I read last week, which is pretty good for, you know, last week, I guess. Um, what am I planning to read this week? Well, I am going to reread Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson because I made like a poll on the community tab on where to go next with the whole like E. McDonald read along kind of thing that is not a read along, but I'm reading all those books. Um, so I'm going to reread Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson, which is a fun book, and I've read it, like, I don't know, six, seven, eight times by now. Um, it's going to be quick, it's going to be fun, I just want to refresh my memory, so that's something that will happen. And then I'm going to reread Scissors Cut Paper Wrap Stone by Ian MacDonald, um, which is a short one, and a fun one, like a really good one. I highly recommend you go and check it out. It's Maybe one of the easier Ian McDonald's novels to get into, so why not try that one? It's about a bike tour in Japan. What could possibly go wrong? Um, so those are the books that I'm definitely going to read this week. Beyond that, there's obviously more Ian McDonald to be read. Um, possibly I'll continue with either the Chaga series or Sacrifice of Fools, which is the first Call to action. I'm really getting good at this whole, like, um, social media thing, aren't I? Um, so here's the thing. In that reading through McDonald's um, bibliography, basically, there is the Chaga series, which um, has two novels and a novella, and obviously also, like, a short story towards Kilimanjaro, but um, mostly we're talking about the main novels, um, those being Chaga and Kirinya. Uh, Chaga is sometimes called Evolution Shore. And in between those two... MacDonald also published Sacrifice of Fools, and I'm going to... F I have to figure out whether I should read those two connected novels and in, like, one go, and then jump back and read Sacrifice of Fools, or whether I should read Chaga first, and then Sacrifice of Fools, and then Kirinja. I don't know what to do about this, so... Um, and this obviously also goes in, like, how I will do videos, which is the next part that we'll talk about, but, like, let me know what you think is smarter. Um, read the two connected books um, in one go and uh, do Sacrifice of Fools either before or after those two, well, three, if we also include the novella Tender Leo so uh, story, or whether I should just like go through the, uh, this in publications, you know, publication history. Let me know, publication order, let me know what you think. I can do both, I'm just not sure what to do at this point, because like, while I personally always go publication order, the question is, what what makes more sense for you if you are actively sort of, like, reading along, in case some of you are actually doing that? Or what, what do you think? Let me know. Um, beyond that, I don't know. All the good books are coming out next week, so um, the, the, the new releases that are um, going to be out that are interesting, those being The Sapling Cage by Margaret Killjoy, which is um, transgender fantasy. Sort of YA, I think. I don't know. But I'm, I'm certainly interested because Margaret Kiljoy. So that's something that I'm going to read next week. And there's, of course, Polostan, the first part of the Bomb Light series by Neil Stevenson. And that will happen next week as well. So, um, you know, as I said, next week, not this week. So I'm going to do more McDonald this week. Unless I come up with something really interesting that I want to do and I just don't know yet. So that's the reading plans. Let's talk about videos, shall we? Well, <clears throat> there's three videos up that I made last week, which is, once again, I'm, I'm happy with it. There's a video for Out on Blue 6. There's a video for 
Necroville, and there's a video for Darko. I'm very happy with all three of those. Um, the, the Ian McDonald videos are really not doing that well. Um, I knew that when I started it. It's just like sort of like um, depressing to see that an author this talented, this like respected among science fiction authors, critics, and so forth, is just like so unknown. But part of the the series is. I mean, part of my goal here is to maybe get some of you to actually go and read some Ian McDonald, and maybe maybe I'll be ha lucky with that. We don't know. So those are out, and Dark Home by Hanno Rayaniemi, which came out on Thursday, so I kind of get it. You know, the trouble with new books is that um, if you don't do, like, spoiler-free uh, free reviews, is that most people haven't read the book yet, so it takes a while for people to actually check that stuff out. So what are you going to do? Um, that's kind of the problem that I have there, but on the other hand, I wanted to read it, like, first, you know, as soon as it came out, and I didn't want to wait for the video for, like, another month or whatever, in case someone actually reads the book. I don't know. It's just, like, how it is. So, those are the three videos. I feel like three videos is pretty solid for, like, one week, so there's that. What will come out this week when we're talking about upcoming videos? Well, <clears throat> there'll be a video on Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. And there'll be a video on Scissors Cut... Wah, what a word! Scissors Cut Paper Wrap Stone. Th don't ever have a lisp and try to say scissors. It's not easy. So yeah, those two will happen this week. Um, well, the Scissors Cut Paper Wrap Stone one is obviously the one for the Ian MacDonald sort of thing. Um, but since it is connected or does use a lot of like similar like themes and topics and like plot devices as Snow Crash. I figured it makes kind of sense and I, I asked you guys and you said like yeah please talk about Snow Crash first so I'm gonna talk about Snow Crash first which kind of makes sense because it is a bit of a classic and um, yeah it's always worth talking about Snow Crash and see what's so good about it and maybe also point out what's not so good about it and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah those will happen this week. Then there will be a very specific video, a very special video that I'm incredibly proud of, and I know that because it's already done. Because earlier today, I talked to La Vie Tidar for um, over an hour as an interview. It's recorded, it'll come out in the next couple of days, we'll see when. Um, it's part of the reason why I reread both Osama and um, A Man Lies Dreaming, because I wanted to be sort of prepared. And uh, yeah. I had a lot of fun. I'm incredibly um, honored that uh, Lobby agreed to do this. Um, it's come out, uh, going to come out during this week. I hope you're going to check it out, um, you know, with, like, authors, especially of the, you know, not Brandon Sanderson class of, you know, selling stuff, at least. Um, every view helps, right? So, I don't know. Check it out. It's, it's going to be an interesting conversation about all kinds of stuff, all kinds of books throughout Lovey's incredibly long career. I hope you check it out, share it with your friends. It does ultimately help all of us doing booktube stuff if, you know, you know we can show both, like, authors and agents and publishers that it's always worth, you know, talking to booktubers about stuff. So, I don't know. Give it a view. You, you might be surprised. Also, obviously, go and read read some Love E.T. Dar books, because they're really good. And uh, <laughs> I know Liam will back me up on that one, but, and Oreo, of course. But, like, go go check out those books, and um, let's have a conversation, like, in the comments down there, and show, show people that, you know, having conversations with authors does actually matter. So those are the plans for this week. Depending how far I get with the reading for, say, Chaga or Sacrifice of Fools, that will also come up, but I don't know yet. We'll see. You know, that would still make for, like, three videos for the next couple of days, which is, once again, I think, pretty solid. So, um, that's plans, right? So, yeah, um, one of the reasons why I said, like, I was really proud of, like, getting out, like, three videos is, like, last week I had, um, a kind of workshop kind of thing from the job center that is trying to, you know, find out what to do with, like, a fuck-up like me. <laughs> and <laughs> that was, like, every day from, like, 9 to, um, well, not 9 to 5, but 9 to 3 in the afternoon. And, uh, yeah, even though it didn't, you know, intellectually tax me to, like, the utter limits, it certainly um, taxed me sort of, like, when it comes to endurance and stuff. And you can tell, it's like, I haven't worked a regular job or anything in, like, years. I haven't 
done anything of the sorts in years so having to get up early go there hang out for like five six hours every day and uh, present at least uh, an illusion of attentiveness i guess um was interesting to see how much of that i can actually still pull off um how long i can focus on something which you know having adhd and stuff is uh, is always a bit of a thing now the interesting part is of course the, the the goal of the whole thing was to find out what kind of jobs I could possibly do and what kind of jobs I'm most suited for all of that kind of stuff so it's going to be interesting to see where that where that leads it looks like um that people agree that I'm currently not um able to do any regular full-time jobs which yeah I, I can see that <laughs> uh, unfortunately, um, what I'm apparently very well suited for is a part-time work and project work in, say, uh, media, um, journalism and activism, which, once again, I agree. Uh, that sounds like something I'd be interested in. It sounds like something I'd, I'd love to do. It's sounds like something I'm almost basically sometimes almost doing out here, right? <laughs> um, yeah. But that's not the kind of like fields where anyone is actually getting jobs, right? So um, we'll see how where that goes. But it certainly was interesting to find out, sort of like think about like the things that I might be good at, the things that I might be qualified for, the things that I might be interested in, and um, maybe think about like ways to sort of go forward with that. And uh, obviously, I'm not a journalist. I'm not an activist. I'm not exactly a media entertainment kind of person, but. I dabble, is, is my point, so that was just, like, interesting to see that, and also just to have that, like, concentrated kind of thing of, like, having to focus for 60 hours per day, which is something I, half an hour, half a year ago, I wasn't able to do that, I'm, I'm luckily I'm sort of able to do it now, it's, it's not good, but it can, kind of works, so, I guess it's progress, and uh, that's, that's something to be, to I guess, thankful for, and we'll see how all these things will continue now that we're moving from summer into autumn. And, uh, you know, if you have, like, struggles with mental health, we all know that, like, you know, the switches in, like, the season, especially when the sun kind of doesn't come up as much and it starts raining every day and all of that stuff um, can impact um, one's, like, mood in general, and um, that can be obviously much exaggerated if you struggle with like depression or anything of the sort so we will see if um i stop doing anything in i don't know two three four weeks and um i'm back at the starting line basically in in a couple of weeks i i hope i hope not but you know who knows so yeah um that's kind of where i'm currently at and i need to look in, into the future once again i still want to do the conspiracy fiction video now that i have like this week I don't have that much to do work-wise, so I can hopefully get like stuff sorted out, get, you know, maybe sort of like the structure finally, you know, finalized and everything, and then all I have to do is start recording. Possibly get some, I don't know, different, I don't want to call it, well, get some, get some clothes that are thematically appropriate. We'll see if I, if I can figure that one out. And start recording and then see see how how far i can push that because i i want to i want to do that i have an upcoming thing where i'll also have to talk about the situationist international so um maybe hopefully i can sort of leverage the me having to do more reading on that subject um i can hopefully leverage that into getting the recording stuff also figured out um it's it, it's one of those things that i struggle with but i kind of have to do is like Sometimes when I get too scared to actually do something, I can I can try to find other reasons to do the same thing, just slightly different, and sort of like trick my brain and trick myself into into doing the thing that I really know that I want to do, but can't for whatever reasons um actually get my my shit together enough. So I, I'm hoping to actually do that, and um, then we're getting close to like the end of the year where I really need to get my stuff together for um, uh, for the uh, Brandon Sanderson thing, right? I promised a Brandon Sanderson video. I said I will read through the entire, not the entirety, but like the key texts of the Cosmere so I can finish all of that when Wind and Truth um, comes out um, in December. So I better get started soon, hadn't I? And, um, and that's kind of the thing, so I'm going to push through the whole like in McDonald thing because I wanted to do that and I I really feel that booktube needs more videos and more 
stuff on Ian McDonald in general because he's he's an amazing writer and way too few people talk about him. So I'm going to do that because it's one of those projects that are near and dear to my heart and then I'm going to do the Brandon Sanderson thing and I'm going to start with a video where I talk about like the basics of Mormonism for um, fantasy readers so you kind of know what's going on. And uh, then we'll see where that moves. Apparently... Talking about the Mormon Church does actually do really well with with hashtags and, and ad revenue, so maybe maybe I'll become rich and <laughs> and all of that out of that. I doubt it, but you know, I'm I'm getting excited to get that stuff like figured out and um, make plans for the future in that regard. Um, there is some really interesting books coming out later this year that I'm definitely going to read. There's obviously the uh, the Last King of Ostenard by Ted Williams with the last book of The Navigator's Children coming out in November. And um, then there's some other stuff, as I said, like the Neil Stevenson one I'm interested in. Later this year, there's Ludluda, which is the second part of the Gog Magog, the, the Chronicles of Ludwig by um, Moon and Beard. And I'm, I'm obviously going to talk about that one. There's a short story collection by Naomi Novik that came out last week, I think, or comes out next week, something like that, and that might be interesting to look at. Um, there's the Alan Moore book, and God knows if that will come out in audio in audiobook version. So far, I can't pre-order it, so I assume it doesn't, or possibly comes out later. We don't know. Beyond that... I don't know. It's one of those things that I find interesting is like as soon as like summer festival, metal festival season is over, which it kind of is now. There's obviously a few last festivals in the next couple of days, uh, next couple of weeks. But it feels like the year is basically over and we just like have like three weeks left and then it's Christmas, which is obviously wrong. There's like all of October and all of November and all, most of, of December. We, we're like we're like three, three and a half months away from Christmas and the end of the year. But it feels like we're basically done, which is weird. And I don't know what to say about that. It's just like that I recently woke up and was like, God, I guess it's years over. So <laughs> we're done. <laughs> and uh, so that's sort of like I feel where the, one of the reasons why I have this like sort of like urgency where I need to like, I got to do the I got to do the Sanderson thing now because I promised you guys the Sanderson stuff for this year. And if we don't start soon, <laughs> we might run out of time. And that's obviously not. Not exactly new for me, but it, at least this time around, I'm aware of sort of like self, uh, self-made self deadlines. We'll see if I can get any of those. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> time's passing, I guess. Anyway, uh, what did you guys do last week? And what did you guys read last week? Let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you all, you know, go and uh, watch um, the, um, the videos I put out last week. I hope you all go and watch the video, uh, the, the interview with Love ETDR. I really hope that. That would be really cool. Um, if things work out, I might be doing a live stream on Saturday. I'm not quite sure because right now planning stuff is kind of up in the air for st for reasons that are outside of my control, so we'll find out. Um, if not, I'll try to find another way to do the, the live stream. We'll see. I'll let you know. Keep an eye on it. Um, I'll do like a <clears throat> community post on it and um, let you know that I've uh, planned the live stream. I have not forgotten about it. So yeah, that's that. Let me know stuff in the comments. I don't know, yell at me in the comments. Tell me a dumb joke in the comments. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, like, subscribe, um, share it with friends, join the Patreon if you feel like it. Be nice. I hope you have a good time. I'll see you very soon. And until then, thanks and uh, cheers. <laughs>